Two dollars new for screen. There we go. Oh, good. Look at you. You can't find it. Is it off mute? Um. Can you hear us? I can hear you. Okay. Sylvia lost her Elijah book. <laughs> what? She bought us all. She bought me and her these books, and they're kind of cool. And each category has something in it, right? Oh, very nice. Yeah, but I got Wendy making me a binder today so that I'm starting to get these maps and stuff, especially if we're going to do the seven step with the discovery process. I want it into a platform for myself. For sure. Cool. Do you need to use these white paper for now? Are you recording? Okay. But I have a notepad out here. Oh, Oh, in the other office. There you go. Oh, she's all ready to go, but she was ready in the other office, and now there's nobody around, so we're able to be in the big space. <laughs> oh my gosh, Wendy cleaned off all that old planning stuff that we were doing with Christy and took pictures of it and took it all down because it was so messy in here. It's awesome right now. All right. So, Wendy, you're going to have to help me with this one. We have 45 minutes. Yeah, I just have to leave right at four, Elijah. So okay. Yeah, we've got a few things to do just before. Now. Good, awesome. We're creating a landing page because we're getting the convo killers off to Rhonda for the conference on Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, so we're just you sent me that. Thank you for that. We or whatever it's called. We're figuring it out on how to put it all together to, with the landing page and my video. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So we we don't know what we're doing today. We're leaving it up to you. I, <laughs> we're just going with the flow. Yeah. I was just thinking, well, what do you ladies want? I mean, I <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's we're really excited. I told her already about that you're gonna have to create on what you could see as something being great for the signage outside is the world headquarters or our headquarters. Oh, no, world, world headquarters, world. yes. We are the home headquarters. Okay. <gasps> anyway, so I told yeah. her that already, and I kind of gave her a rundown that I'm going to be working with you on my discovery process with Kaylee, and then we can go through all the steps and start breaking them down on what's needed. So um, did you get a picture? Yo, know, you got the picture of these values. So yeah. we know, Elijah, that we've decided as founders and doing the map that that's our map. Okay. And then we can present it to the other two girls. Right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and not change stuff just because someone steps into the organization. <laughs> mm. All because of one map. I, all because of one map. Well, you know what? Everything happens for a reason, right? Yeah, maps can help you, but sometimes they can maybe get, take you to the wrong places. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? Depending, because it does. It, this is deep personal growth going through these processes. Very, yeah, so. Very yeah. much so. How about this? Since we're both pretty open, why don't we uh, bring in the remedy, choose a remedy, and start with that and s see how we could... Uh, begin to, even if you don't know what to do <laughs> It'll or, or you don't have a feeling, but you go, okay, well, let's just, let's just ask and find out. Okay. Um, this could be a way of uh, utilizing the remedy program. Okay. That would be good. Does that work for you guys? Uh, oh, that's perfect. Oh, this that's an awesome background. You haven't oh. seen that one yet. So maybe it could be like, we could, like, what is the next best step? Yeah, what's the next step? Yeah, what's the next best step? Yeah. Let's go. It's pretty amazing, eh? It is. Mm -hmm. It's the best next step. And then, and you'll see a bear comes up. You'll see there's a new background image that um, uh, is taking the place of the other one there. Oh, oh, wow. wait. oh wait, wait a second. I got to. Yeah. yeah, but he'll send that to us and we'll get a copy of okay. it. Yeah. So we're doing a new like a new yeah. yeah. Take the question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sometimes you can just pick a question to, or, or divine yeah. it. That's what if we divine one? Oh, you want to divine a question? Oh. Yeah, that's what it's like. Just, okay. But this is cool. Okay. 
So we have access to doing this kind of thing, yeah. And right now, you guys are the only ones who, I mean, there's maybe 20 in there right now, but you're the yeah. first ones who can utilize it. So it's kind of like um, you have you have access to the oracle at the beginning. So you want to divine a question kind of thing? Yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. That's when you fully don't. Okay, so now then it's got the six fields. Which field do you want to go in? Well, this is really advanced yeah. from the last the time I used it. Let's, let's do business. Yeah. Business? Yeah. Oh, what is our greatest blind spot right now? Oh, oh <laughs> my. Oh, and what are our car? Look at that. Learning. Oh, my gosh. Education. To acquire knowledge of or skill in a study, instruction, experience, but then ideation. Look at that. The beginning of the creation process where ideas are discussed and flushed. This is it. That's exactly oh. like, yeah. Wow, <laughs> education. Oh. The active process of imparting or acquiring healing knowledge. Yeah. See, that's on the harmony lens. Right. So see this, learning? Yeah. This is the synergy. Now you go out to the world in harmony and it's education. Oh, okay. So that's the education system. Right. Okay. So, the, and that's like in the lens area, any of those four decks are there, right? You could have a choice of flow, synergy, or harmony. So, Laura, you're at the stage now, you can recognize which level it's at and where it's at by the color code, right? So it's kind of like you're positioning it as the spell comes in, you're getting the the, the parts and where they fit kind of thing better, right? Exactly. I yeah, like that word knows. sage. Laura, you're a sage. That just gave me shivers. <laughs> oh. So then we can touch in on this and, and that question showing this. Like, what's it meaning to each of us, do you think? Yeah, yeah. Like, why don't each of you give a sort of download as to what you think that means? Okay. So, yeah, the question is interesting. The, the greatest blind spot right now. Um, the, the process we're in right now is with Rob, like, physically taking us through an old paradigm business process. And um, the conversation yesterday was, um, what's the, like we did, we did the SWOT, which is the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and what is it? And um, threats. And threats, yes. And the greatest threat that all of us thought was us inter internally. So, <laughs> You know, to have that brought forward because we're just kind of rambling and thinking, yeah, okay, we're we're all pretty good, we're all pretty good. Mm -hmm. But every one of us brought that forward that okay, really, what is halting us and what's preventing us from even going forward is all about our own self, our own self. We're in our own way. Yeah, uh -huh. Elijah, I didn't have this this morning, so here's one of the threats. The lack of people knowing what we are and what we do, working against the old mindset and structure, our biggest threat is ourselves not knowing how we can all work together and accomplish what we need. The next threat is we don't act fast enough. We wait for someone else to do what needs to be done. The threat is ourselves and not doing it. The next one is not being in alignment as a core group, no specific game plan, income, wasting time on things that are not in the plan or not in the wheelhouse of our strengths and skills. Holy cow. I'm doing the same thing and getting sidetracked, not a website. We have a website, yeah. but nobody's come together to say, let's get it built. And the last one is each has their own business on the side and is learning the mapping, et cetera, with Elijah through the hub. And we'll be able to come together as a team of individuals to build this business, which is bigger than any one of us individually. So that's a threat, right? They're all independent business women, but are they coming to learn this stuff just to go out there on their own? Or are they really feeling yeah. that we're coming together as a team? Uh, How do you like that for threats? Very interesting. So did each of you write those down and put them down like without anyone seeing? And then the, those yeah. were the, all of them are what you just showed me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that must have been quite a, an enlightening experience to see that. Oh, oh, it was. It was amazing. Like Rob took it, everybody emailed him, and he took it and put it into one document. So you don't know who wrote what. The only one that knows what they wrote is the person that wrote it. Right. right. 
Wow, that's a powerful experience. Oh, it was crazy. And like, uh, you know, even that experience, it's called a SWOT analysis. It's an old fashioned way of yep, doing yeah, it, it's powerful. I like the SWOT analysis, just shifting the name up and bringing that into something that we can offer in the world of business and teams. But it just wouldn't be called SWOT because that's the old fashioned one, right? Right. But if we could do something, something comparable, yeah. more new paradigm, that would be, oh, there you go. That's good. So our biggest blind spot, so the alarm understanding mm -hmm. is our threats within our organization yeah. as a team. Well, no, I mean, you're bringing those two together, but it may not necessarily be that, right? Like you're, you're, you're uh, I just want to go deeper into this, the idea, because like ordinarily this would look like a positive sort of thing like your ideation is coming up with the ideas learning is is you know learning the ideas and then through the pro through the lens of education right i mean that's that's a very powerful spell on its own yeah, yeah. Um, oh, but basically the greatest blind spot it's like looking at part of what you're doing is you're bringing a new idea into the world right so to recognize that in a sense of an education and if you're looking at um you know the connection in with the educational system you know through carrie and the and the school system yeah um the greatest blind spot like i i think it's probably all the problems i've had over the years of looking at okay even using circles versus squares using something that's color coded using tools that are kind of like again like the tarot when no these are business terms but what someone immediately sees is the tarot so it's kind of like a lot of the parts of the idea are a little bit strange or weird for people. Right. So the blind spot may be not knowing how that comes across to people. Yeah, how it comes across. You know, that's kind of cool that you say that because we were talking the other day, we had a meeting with Christy. We did a, a meeting with her and her mom. And we were talking and I said, you know, conversation cafe, because we know the hub factor needs to turn into a paid, a paid program. program. Uh -huh. So we go, you know what, a conversation cafe, not even conscious, but just conversation cafe. And we get those little tables, you know, 24 inches yeah. and fold up so that they can be put away and they're not always sitting out. Yeah. And this is interesting because Christy goes, well, our restaurant, we got lots of those tables, you guys, that we could use and they're square. And I thought, oh my goodness, we don't she use square. So she still didn't get it. The offer was nice, mm -hmm. but we don't use square tables. Ah, but can Isn't you see this? Crazy? I've got a, a two person board. I've just been digital. I don't know if you can. Anyway, it's it's a. Uh, well, to see it with your. Um, it's a two per. It, basically, it's a two person game board where oh. you, you each have. It's like a basketball court. And then you're, um, you're, you're flipping the cards, like the combo cards, and you have on either side of you a spectrum of how engaged you are, like what your mood is, and then how open you are to interact. So you can give conscious feedback as the conversation goes on, whether you're liking it or disliking it. Oh, my. So then you use the combo types, and then let's say you have questions, you have couples there, you could have, let's say, 10 couples. Yeah. And the couples could, you know, you have like, what are your biggest 10 questions? They write down the questions they want answered. So that becomes the question pile. And then they just go through the question. And then with every question, they could flip over a value card and a convo type. <gasps> right. And then you answer the question. And then as people are talking, you're giving emotional and mental feedback to the person of, well, I, that I like that or I don't like that. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one thing which it, it could be very funny. <laughs> It's because as soon as you say something, the person's moving the, the counter to, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's basically a, a conscious way to sit there, go through the experience of the cards. But again, like the game boards change it, right? And you've got the hub factor, but it's it's like I've got like 10 other game boards that, you know, right. hopefully at some point you'll have all of the prototypes, right? So well, maybe that's cool. because so what we're looking a lot and where I see what is our greatest blind spot right now? And when it's learning and education with ideation is Sylvia and I sat the other day going, how can we shift it and what could be our freebie, but yet powerful enough 
for people to want to come from the freebie and enter into the hub right and then enter into some mapping and then enter into you know our long our list of stuff right so we have to write down for rob for our next stop planning what is our product okay all of us have to send him this ahead of time and so literally like i literally wrote um value mapping or mapping and then i put value mapping so this whole um concept and then it was courses courses like online courses or in in person courses mastermind and in school i don't remember the last one but um yeah so we've got to let him know what is the product that we have to offer the world mm. so value is mapping he goes okay so what's that you know so really stepping back and then go okay well it's coaching so it was math coaching online in-person learning and mastermind those were four of the things yeah i'm sure there's more of it So that's something for us to really think about. And then our product, I mean, Conversation Cafe could be a product. Mm -hmm. It could be. It could be. Yeah. Or it could be under mapping too. It could be. Oh, yeah. Right? Okay. Anything? But I think I think Conversation Cafe it could be your signature. I think you need something that's that's uh, that's it's catchy, it's necessary, it's the next like to go from just having a coffee to you're having yeah. a conversation with a coffee. Right. right and that the right. conversation is you can come here and you have a conscious conversation right like i i think that you can design the whole visionary hub around just that idea there and everything else is is part of that just shut the on the side you shut the fan right on there it is yeah so like we were using the hub factor as like a lead that the conversation cards would be more even more impactful mm -hmm. if we did it right mm -hmm. well and the conversation cafe like the functions in the title uh people know right what it is right away it's simple yeah. uh, it's very generic and then I, everything everything yeah. else is kind of like oh you want to you know what 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 kind of conversation do you want to have in right. the conversation cafe and some of them are going to be very structured some of them aren't structured some of them are like a real process where you're going from a, a to z and and another is is you know just bob's talking about this but you can look at the schedule and then you have like a monthly schedule the lunar schedule where you start to bring in your speakers or you start to bring in your hub factors like and in that schedule you've got all the events and that's what you send to everyone in yorkton every month everyone in yorkton gets a schedule somehow Okay. So if we have is health is a topic, health and wellness, we can bring in Dr. Node Smith as our speaker for that time and we let the whole community know. Yeah. That, that makes yeah. sense, yeah. Elijah, because we have a circle of life, and in that circle of life is nine elements. Remember, I was telling you yeah, yeah. your job, health, um, money, blah, 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 blah. Relationships, family, spirituality, and it's those topics. Oh okay. my goodness. And health can fit into uh, mental, mental emotional, mental health is a big. Mm -hmm. Can you and give me the nine again? Can you give me the nine again? Yeah, do you have the nine? Um, Sylvia? Okay, so job or career, uh, money, family, relationship, um, self growth. Mm -hmm uh family relationship blah, 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 blah. what are the rest of them um, fun and happiness, fun and happiness. Like huh fun and happiness like kind of social but yet we just yeah. made it fun and happiness so job crew money family relationship self-growth so spirituality oh and what was that four five six seven there's two more sylvia oh money career relationship Oh, community, giving back to community. So community involvement, volunteering, stuff like that was another one. And oh, damn. 
Why can't I think family, of family relationships, health, and wellness? Spiritual no, that's it. Like relationships, health, job, money, family, self growth, spirituality, fun, happiness, and community. Yeah, and health and wellness. That's it. That's nine. Okay. Yeah. And then that's the circle of life. And that's you're coining that. That's your coining that is the yeah. circle of life. Yeah. Okay. We get in dare to be you. Okay. Thank you, Sophia. Am I missing one here? No, no, you got it. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah. So family and relationships we put separate because family is a big dynamic all on its own. For because sure. It could be family of origin mm -hmm. or it could be family step parents and whatever. Oh yeah. Yeah. So could you have like, I guess, like the theme of the month kind of theme of the lunar cycle would be one of these. So yeah, each the lunar yeah. cycle, you have a different theme. Yeah. Theme of the lunar cycle. Lunar yeah, cycle. I like so, that. So then what you could have is you could have a, a nine month calendar, like yeah. a, you, you could have a nine month calendar. That's the big calendar that's kind of giving them the big picture. And then you break down each lunar cycle with your breakdown. Oh, okay. You have two maps then. Yeah, because then you're touching really on every point of a person with a yeah. life. And the thing is, if you have then like a module, you could mm -hmm. sell the nine month course, but someone could enter at any time because you're always repeating the, the nine month right. cycles, right? Oh, I just said that to Carrie this morning. I said, I see us creating something that they can add to a module. Every time something's done, they add to it. They don't get the whole book right off the bat. They get parts and they can put them into the module. So it's something that can be, not a binder, mm -hmm. but something that can be added, 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 added in. Okay. I just said that this morning to her. Perfect. And so let's say you have four modules, four modules per, te per theme. Yeah. So you have one module per week. So you're, you're teaching a, a every once a week there's one module of that thing. And then you can divide between yourselves which ones you want to teach. Yeah, there you go. And if you don't want to teach it, then you find other people who can teach that particular. Bring people in. If it's health and wellness and all about keeping well, and we want to bring Dr. Node Smith, so we're starting to say, here's some other people that part of our tribe or become part of our tribe. That's maybe how we'll end up finding people that are part of the tribe. So we say, like, are you an expert on health and wellness? Oh, no, no. Neither am I. No. So then we bring in somebody like Node Smith as a naturopathic doctor. Right. Another thing you could add then, so you got like four for each theme. Yeah. And then you could have that divided between the personal space, one-on-one -on -one space, group space, community space for that particular thing. Okay. But so that that would be your structure. You'd have one of the four one of the four spaces, uh -huh. and then it, like because I have another map that shows that rotation. So you're showing the rotation like each week okay the focus is community space this then it's group space then it's uh personal then it's one-on-one -on -one, then it's group so you're always following this rotation so it's kind of like you have a sign in the space so it's community space week and so mm -hmm. all the events or most of the things in there are focused on the community space <gasps> and then you match the theme so you always know okay for the next nine months this is how we're going to do it. And then what you have to do is you just have to master that process of that one course per week. That's right. And you can build other things around that, but you, that's your main thing that you're doing. Okay. So, so Elijah, how, so Sylvia, can you repeat what you just heard them say? Yeah. 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 Okay. So we, we break down a schedule at a theme um, every month. Okay, so like every lunar cycle, and that month, oh, and so that month we have four weeks for that theme, say the month is um, relationships, or okay, health and wellness. So the month, for, the theme for that lunar month is health and wellness. And then we have, uh, then we have something, every week that somebody is teaching or we have a special guest coming in to talk about the health and wellness. And a theme for each week could be a one-on-one -on -one based theme or a community based theme or what's the other spaces? Group. A and group personal. theme and a personal theme. Mm -hmm. Judy's got them on the Is that right so far? Yep. Okay. And then 
we go to the next lunar month and a lunar session or the lunar cycle and pick a new theme and go through that again. And we will build a 12 month cycle that we can just rinse and repeat. And then we, once we get that really good, we can start adding, I can see us start adding more pieces and whatnot to that. That's, that's right, except it's not a 12 month, it's a nine month cycle. Nine, nine month cycle, yeah. So then, and I'll explain kind of my yeah. take on it. So it's a nine month cycle. We break it down. There's four modules with a theme and each week has a module. So that every time they come, they get a module that fits into that four module series, yeah. to that series. And in those, we match a theme in personal space, one-on-one -on -one group or community space. Yeah. So each week is one of those spaces right. with a theme and a module. Yeah. And if we aren't able to present it and do what we feel we can do, then we can bring someone in as a guest on Zoom or we can bring them physically into the space. Yeah. Oh, this oh. is gonna be big. So I'm confused on a nine month calendar breakdown. The lunar calendar? The lunar calendar. Okay. Is it not 12? Well, no, just because there's nine themes. Just, oh, yeah, okay. he's saying it because of themes. Okay, gotcha. So every nine months. Right. Yeah. yeah. And we don't want to go with 12. We want no. to have nine because we're really sticking with our nine points of everything. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so then you could kind of go, I mean, to make it the simplest would be uh, $25 a module, like let's say on the low end. Mm -hmm. And so the whole thing would be $900. Yeah. Yeah. And then maybe what you could do is you could add on, you could, let's say you sold it at 11111. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they do prices like that. And that the 900 to, well, no, no, it depends on how much you want to go because let's say, okay, that's at a base rate of 25. Mm -hmm. And then you're going, okay, you want, let's say a sales per commission. Mm -hmm. You add another two hundred dollars on there, let's say, mm -hmm. and then if you add on space to the like, how much goes? Like, are you teaching it individually? Do you want to split it up? Mm -hmm. um, and then some goes to the um, visionary hub. Yeah. So you could sell it. I mean, maybe it's a fifteen hundred dollar course. Right. Oh, like I really think those themes are good because they really are your life. Totally. Mm -hmm. No, no, I mean, in those modules, if you saw a module, so let's say we're doing a group, uh, a group teaching on health, self -help, yeah. health and wellness, yeah. health and wellness. So we're doing a group session on health and wellness. We have a module. Um, what would like there'll be an exercise in their module, there might be some books to read some people to connect with. For like, I would say, kids. Kids then you'd probably break it down into let's say if it's a let's say it's a let's say it's a three-hour experience okay right because okay. your main your teacher you're doing a three-hour experience once a week yeah so in that three hours that's where you look at you know the what what exactly like in health mm -hmm. versus personal growth like that that's where you brainstorm the kind of like okay it's a community space it's about it's about health okay, here's, here's all the ways that I get healthy by participating in the community space. There might be, you could have a list of all the things they could do. You could have a, 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 a couple of videos to watch. Okay. Uh, you, could, you could have two or three exercises to do. You know, yeah. we, we could create a format for that three hours where yeah. we, we could go again through that seven step process. That's um, I think that's, that could be something you guys could flush out or we could do the next time of yeah. going of, of looking again okay now we're using the seven step process in that three hours and then maybe again maybe we're raising it then to 50 does three hours so we could we could charge 50 dollars yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah and then or if you look into a two hour thing. Mm -hmm. yeah and let's say if you're going like 50 dollars and let's say you have a maximum let's say if the two of you are teaching or or doing it or yeah. three of you yeah. uh that could be let's say maximum 20 people maybe for your place yeah, yeah. So now you're looking at a thousand dollars. 
So now you're looking at that, that will bring in 4,000 a month into the, into the hub, which can cover your basics. Yeah. That's just based upon getting your three hours a week that once you've got that mastered, then you're looking at, okay, we're doing individual coaching sessions too. We're doing the hub factor, but like, this is the beginning of that. Okay. What is your product? Okay. Well, we're teaching, right? Like your main thing is you guys are teachers. So yeah. you have to set up mastering. How do we do a course in here? And again, using the products of how to use it because you're always using the, the, the products to output whatever you're outputting. Right. Exactly. But if, and you are asked like, what are the products? You can say you're a licensed distributor of the new paradigm toolkit. Oh. Right. So you guys, you know, Lori's going to have the, Saskatchewan license, new paradigm toolkit. And so that's something you can put in your business plan in terms of one of your main okay. yes. That's excellent. Yeah. And that the new paradigm toolkit breaks down into maps, game boards, card sets, processes, and software. I remember us talking about this when we were on the phone every Monday night, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Map, game boards, processes. What else did you say? Maps, card sets, game boards, processes, and software. Okay. You got all those, Sylvia? And processes. Okay. I mean, we're taking double notes here. I'm not sure why, but it's just well, one way of working yeah. for me. And then yeah. we do a kind of have a conversation and do a comparison. For sure. Okay. okay. And and like when, like the processes, the, the bit of the software is easy to understand. Yeah. Card sets, easy. Game board map but the process is just what we're looking at like a three-hour process you're looking you're always taking people through a process and what we're saying is the seven-step pulse model is the universal process that you're looking to master because once you master that process once you can guide people through a set of convo cards as the organizer that to me is is your main product line underneath like the conversation cafe as the umbrella being able to facilitate individuals and groups through processes distinguished by conversation types. That's, oh, wow. that's like your signature mastery. That is, and like you say, and we're licensed distributors of the new paradigm toolkit. We're using the seven step pulse model. Oh. And then within that, you oh, can no. say, sorry. I was just going to no, say, no, go that, then you can have that as a, then you can custom design processes for yourself, which would be the discovery process, plus the, whichever one we're doing with you, Sylvia. Yeah. And th that's just looking again at processes, but looking at custom design for you to give to customers, but then you can also oh. teach customers to do what you're doing, which means bringing their knowledge now you help them to create their seven step process and that's like a, a an upsell on just participating in the processes the next level is now you help people create their own process yeah, and that's where that shared knowledge comes from where we teach and then they get really good at it and then they teach yeah, yeah. Train yeah, the you're, trainers. Yeah. you're bringing them in you're bringing them in and I, I guess, as we saw, if you're bringing them in too quick, it's no, it's not good. They've got to come in at a certain pace. Yeah, and so that's what we, yeah. Customers are experiencing it from a point of view. If they pay the money, they sit down, they go through it, they go home. The allies are more the people that go, hey, like, what are you doing here? We want to ally with you. And that could be another, I don't know, product, but you're looking at, again, your pro your members, your allies, and your customers. And that the members are going to be people who look at what you're doing and go, we want to be in on this. And so they're the ones who go to all the courses. They're the ones who are always involved. Okay. And those are going to and be. And then the allies, what are you guys up to? What are you guys doing there? And the curiosity is really. Crazy. And that's where you can bring out that map and go, well, we have three types of relationships here. You can be a customer, an ally, or, or a member. And this is, you know. This is the difference between these. Yeah, this is exactly, well, customer, ally, or member. That's exactly what Sylvia and I were talking about, which is something, if we could have backed up many months, 
we would have been doing this yeah. thing. How are we bringing people in here? And we would have went through that mapping. So this is good though. It's yeah. just, it's learning curves, right? We're humans. Yeah. <laughs> so Elijah, can you, you're recording this one, hey? Yeah. Can if this specific one, can you send it to Sylvia and I or to Sylvia and then she'll get it to me? Sure. Can you send it to her? Because you've said some major yeah. things here and I know we haven't caught everything. And then you're, we're going to have you work on my next call. I'm going to talk to Kaylee and she's going to be in that time slot. And we're going to sit and go through the seven step pulse model with the discovery process yeah. to get started on it. Yeah. And then, and then if Sylvia wants to create something, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, well, we're working then on we can yeah. help. Yeah. yeah. And if you need any help, like we're all yeah. here to kind of brainstorm together because we have so many neat ideas, mm -hmm. but it's like if someone goes, oh, well, what about Lori, that thing you used four years ago, Sylvia would say to me, oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. oh, this is fabulous. What time, so what it time, is, what time it's are we at? Only 3.42. Okay. I'm, I'm awesome. good for 10 minutes. Okay. So guide people through the convo cards. I think that's a very good. So now we're looking at this. We're creating something really big here. This my, nine month lunar calendar. Now, is there certain times on the lunar calendars that are, I know they're yeah, different. Yeah, they so maybe the topic for that time has something to do with the timing on the lunar, mm -hmm. lunar calendar. That would probably help. Okay. Um, I'll work. Let me work on a, a sequencing or let me kind of play with this a bit. Okay. Cause I'm thinking, you know, like, yeah, I'm just thinking out loud going, there's something about the lunars and I don't follow it like you and Sylvia do and her people that she deals with, with the moon cycles and stuff. So that's why I think that would be good because I believe in it. I just don't follow it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now what we have to do, Elijah, and if, if you can help us with this, because we have to create what it is, we, what do we, what our product, what our product is. Right. Like if we put values mapping, well, then that's not enough for somebody doing strategic planning. How do we break that down with a sentence yeah. on what it's really doing and what it's guiding people with? Okay. Um, because values mapping then would be looking at, the relationship of the card set, one card set to one map, to you know, to some maps. Yeah. You, you, okay, so if you want to write this down, then okay, yeah. like the um, one of the highest value processes in the new paradigm toolkit mm -hmm. is creating custom designed value systems that fit on universal business organizational structures. Okay, so, highest value process in the NPTK is to create custom design value systems that fit in the universal business model. Universe, wow. Oh, that's great. Can you imagine us getting into freaking businesses with this bill? Their, their people will just be enlightened, man. For sure. So in the inflow matrix, like the, the, the underlying, let's say operating system okay. is called the inflow matrix operating system. Yeah. So it is an ethical business system where you choose your value system. And so it, it does so on four levels. On four levels, yeah. That is, de is determined by uh, two axes, the individual and the group, the inner and the outer. The individual and the group. And within those two, there's inner and outer. Yeah. Okay. which creates four four levels the inner individual outer individual inner group and outer group yeah, yeah. you outer you rg og that's what i started using now that's for short yeah. form okay which creates four levels inner you outer you inner group outer group okay so then the uh the, the first level is the choice wheel yeah. 
which corresponds to the inner individual. Yeah. The second is the flow wheel, which corresponds to the outer individual. Yeah. And the next is the synergy wheel, which corresponds to the inner group. Yeah. The next is the harmony wheel, which corresponds to the outer group. Mm -hmm. So that you're always in this idea, you always know there's four levels to whatever you're experiencing. And you take that into account in your design and your application. Yeah. Everything makes sense. So you can create a value system for the individual a value system for the organization and a value system for the community. Yeah. And then the rest of the idea builds from that center point. So information flows through a matrix, that's inflow matrix. So the information is flowing down conduits that are values. Okay, is flowing? I don't want to use the word conduits, but remember okay. um, information is flowing. Um, I don't know other than conduit. Um, yeah, through conduits. Called values? Yeah, like, I mean, uh, if you, I mean, you could say um, the values mm -hmm. become, again, become the conduits. Oh, there you go. For, for information to flow through. Conduits for information to flow through. There we go. So if something is, is competitive, yeah. it's not going to flow through the cooperation value. So it won't fit if someone's coming in and trying to be competitive yeah. and you value cooperation it's not going to work and yeah. you're going to see it you're going to feel it and, and so i think your feelings become the feedback mechanism for your values oh yeah that's so your yeah. feelings become the what feedback, feedback mechanism okay. oh i got goosebumps yeah And your 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 the whole value system creates a field of energy which attracts the experiences to realize those values. Creates the energy to attract those experiences. Okay. Are you getting it, Sylvia? Well, I've got it. Your whole values create the energy. Yeah, the whole value system creates the energy to attract those experiences because the values become the conduits for information to flow through. So you see it, you feel it, and it's your feelings that become the feedback mechanism that take it out there and the whole system creates the energy to attract the yes, experience. That makes total sense. And we're yeah. totally about experiential, talk about experiential learning. Yeah. Mm. I'm writing that as a comment, as a tagline, talk about experiential learning. Not like school. No. Oh, I like this. This is helping us for Rob. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. So we look like we look like pros. we know what we're doing. <laughs> well, you could also say this. So then another thing could be that one of the card sets, mm -hmm. the conversation types, is a codification for business communication. It can be applied to the the various infotech platforms to begin to learn how to frame conversations. To begin to learn how to consciously frame conversations. Consciously frame. Holy, so if we have somebody, if we can get the Convo Cafe started with these modules, but prior to that, get something going at these round tables, 
that's short, sweet, powerful, and people go, we want to come back. Because now we have these modules to bring you through a whole, every month, every week, we've got a, a theme of the month, but a weekly module to work with. Yeah. And then we have to name all those modules. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'll, what I'll, my takeaway from this is I'm going to make you <clears throat> the framework. Oh, okay. I'll make you the framework. It's all nice to, to see this. Yeah. And then a next step is yeah. to look at the three hour session mm -hmm. and the next time or to get you know you can do it on your own but the next maybe thing we can look at is breaking down that three hour session into the seven steps and then coming up with a really juicy formula okay that that that's exciting right and then you just every theme you're, you're plugging in some different pieces of it yeah. so so start thinking about that and that's our next step i think so i put two to three hours because we're finding that two hours for the dare to be you is like Perfect time. Okay. Are yeah. you finding? So I think it has to be a two hour Elijah. Or my other yeah. thought is two, um, but that's just more time. Like you break it up an hour and a half, one, one day. And, you know, an but we're doing a module per, per week. week. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah, and then you just have to have them come back. And I don't think no. so. I think if we keep it within those two hours, okay. two and a half hours with a little break in between mm -hmm. so people can just have a Whatever. Yeah, I think that might have yeah. to be it. Okay, two hours. It's a lot for us. Yeah. 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 And then once that's clear, like if Elijah's mm -hmm. going to create us a framework, that's but we Elijah. start thinking about the seven steps within that two hour, that two and a half hour, because yeah, people go two hours every week for this much. They may, mm -hmm. or three hours. They may, oh, yeah. it might help that. Yeah, that might help them. Like I'm on a three hour call tonight with Aurora Center, which is a recovery center. Right. It's every Thursday for eight weeks from five to eight in the evening with 14 people. It's fabulous, but it is draining when you're done. Yeah. Okay. Okay. By the time, well, it's emotional for me because it's my son, right? right? He's not on there, but it's all people that have family members that are in some form of addiction. Right. It's powerful. We can be doing that same damn thing, Elijah, because Watch There's their process. They're, I'm, I'm watching yeah. it. But I mean, they've got counselors and stuff on. They've got three counselors and then they give feedback and we all give feedback on what mm. somebody said is showed us as their safety collage and what that meant to them. And right away, my brain is one of these people are talking about growing up with an alcoholic parent or a drug addicted parent. I didn't have that. But there's still different types of trauma. So it's not about I didn't have that because I can't really relate to them. I mean, I didn't see my dad kick the shit out of my mom. I didn't yeah. even see that drunk. Yeah. It's hard for me to be empathic or empathetic with people talking. But then the last class, they said, it's not just a chemical addiction. No. Well, yeah. I mean, it's also, the, I'm not sure what the total context of the call is, but a yeah. lot of people could be on the real path of healing. And right. you're, you might be on the path of service. You've already done all that stuff, right? You've gone through, yeah. you're an elder who's gone through it all. Yeah. Well, I'm. Oh, the real paths. Where's your Where's your thing that shows those paths? I don't know if you, if Sylvia has seen that. Oh, okay. the path of healing, Sylvia. So Elijah, I'm even going through this. Oh, new, there. Yeah, I'm okay. even going through this new dawn program. I believe it. There's a reason I'm there. My son's there is because it is. It's all those look path of suffering, path of awakening, path of healing, path of transformation, okay. yeah. path of archetype, path of surrender. Mm -hmm. And then the path of service. Do you see the visionary hub here? Yes. No. So, so you would be here and they come to you and then you go, okay, well, which path do you think you're on? Oh. And then click on the path and then you go through the seven step process over here. Oh my gosh. Here, I got to take a picture of that. I just like the look of it. I really do. The view in there, Elijah, you're a handsome dude. <laughs> You really are like you are just so clear. I'm so glad you don't have hair. <laughs> it just wouldn't be the same, honestly. It's almost like you're getting signals from somewhere. I just feel it. <laughs> like you're you're brilliant, honestly. And I'm I'm I hope you're okay with that. Well, I, I it certainly seems to help me out sometimes, but sometimes not so good. So. 
<laughs> or, or I'm not so brilliant. Uh, uh, you don't know how you got so brilliant? You no, I'm saying I'm not so, I mean, in some areas, this, this mapping, I'm pretty good, but in other areas of my life, I'm not particularly that. Yeah, with I, your conscious spelling or your curiosity spelling, you mean? I can't believe that. <laughs> and it's on so many of my I'm things. Conscious spelling. I catch Sylvia's oh, all the time. Oh, yeah, I'm not a and then he almost tried to kind of beat himself up a little bit. I can't believe right. I did that. I go, you're human, man. Exactly. You're human. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> but we're not perfect. That is a beautiful map. Except and, for in our own mind. Sorry. Except in our own mind. I love that map too because, of course, it's orange. It's got the value mm -hmm. of passion on it. <gasps> it's got your skin. Oh, and the hub. <gasps> well, it was made for you, right? I mean, uh... specifically made. For us, I know it's beautiful with those closed doors. Nobody knows what's what's behind those doors. So come and explore. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my That's gosh, that, that is. Do we have that? I don't think I'd sent this one because I, I I made quite like the full. I sent you three or four of them, but I made all of them. Yeah. And then it was again like sometimes I worry about giving too much kind of stuff at once. So. Um, I do services i think that's a lot to do with even me on an inner group services fits me and guess what our values are accountability and leverage ah. in services does that make oh, the marketing one? Oh yeah yeah and it's authenticity marketing is not authenticity marketing is love well i think yeah i put the values from the the synergy wheel that uh <laughs> the I, values oh, on the synergy okay. map. So service is, how does that sound, Elijah? If What's you, that? If we looked at that, and I'm giving Sylvia a little taste of this too. So if you could close up for now, Sylvia, so I can see him. Awesome. Right. So if we look at services, mm -hmm. and we look at the we look at the value of passion in services, and up there, our services values are leverage and accountability. What makes more sense for a value what feels near and dear for right. value. And we couldn't determine which of those two, so we kept them both, Elijah. Okay. Because um, we thought accountability and leverage kind of go well hand in hand with our services. What do you think? Like, could you explain that to Sylvia under the services? Well, I mean, let's say you chose leverage, which would yeah. mean that everything you're doing is, is like, attempting to sort of raise the amount of value you're bringing in the moment like you're you're really there's certain points with a person certain points in a situation that if you just change that the whole thing changes and that comes from having the right leverage right and that usually is around your value system if you want to have a lot of behavioral changes go to the value level if you're trying to just change behaviors one at one it doesn't work but if you really do some massive value shifts which the maps do then that brings in again that field of realization then the person starts to go through a lot of experiences where you don't necessarily have to stimulate the experience because they've stimulated the experience through the creation of that value system and through the agreement of participating in it so have you ever seen this sylvia this path of suffering awakening like the hero's journey the hero's journey elijah it's is similar it yeah i mean it's any anything with transformation in it is going to have sort of the the bits and pieces um it is essentially yeah the hero's journey yeah 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 like i've done a bit of work on that but it just all that stuff just intrigues me i love the way you worded this though i honestly the highest value process in the new paradigm toolkit is to create custom designed value systems that fit in the universal business model that's great this is really good. Now I got to get this yeah. typed out so I can make sense of what I wrote. Okay. <laughs> and hand it in to the teacher. You're right. We're teachers. We're just teaching in a whole new paradigm way because we're all teachers in some capacity, aren't we? For sure. And 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 here we're you're teaching at different levels of what I'm coming in with is a lot of again that behind structure which normally either isn't talked about or, or brought to the scene. And we're, we're, we're teaching content, which is whatever you've learned over the years inside a structure and then teaching kind of both at the same time in a sense. Right. So it's yeah. the beginning of, of systems thinking where you're operating at different levels at the same time, but still affecting a, sort of an educational process for someone to go through. Yeah.
for me. I can't wait to work that discovery process. So I'm not sure. I think, guess my call is next Wednesday. Kaylee will be here. So I'll just find out. Uh, uh, like, yeah, she'll be here. Yeah. So we'll plan to start with the seven step process for the discovery process. Okay. So me a feel because that's near and dear to my heart. So then I can really make it relatable. So, so then what I would suggest is sort of like homework then yeah. is to look at these seven paths mm -hmm. and then to look at, you know, money mm -hmm. and to go and, and to come up with maybe seven archetypes. You probably already have them, but like it could be, you know, where is someone at in relationship to money on these seven paths? Mm -hmm. Like path of service, maybe I've made enough money. I've got as much as I need and I'm here to serve because I don't have to make money anymore. Path of yeah. suffering means, you know, I'm always broke and I, I can't seem to get ahead and I just need help. Path awakening. Hey, I'm becoming an entrepreneur. I just, I just, you know, I, I can do anything, but how am I going to do it? Path of healing. You know, crap, I got to be a real bad relationship with money. I need to heal it. How can I heal it? Path of transformation. You're in the middle of, okay, well, all this stuff is changing. I don't even know what to do, but, uh, you know, I, I know money's the focus point. How can you help me? Then path the archetype. Oh, I'm a solid businessman. I've been, you know, I've made money for 20 years, but I just need to make more money or I, I don't feel good about my life. Then path of surrender is bringing in like the spiritual side to business and going, I want to serve something bigger than myself. I just don't want to look at aiming at money. Yeah. You know, how, what can I do? And so each of those is at a different place in their life and their mind about how they're going to approach the discovery process. And so to you, you're essentially going to be creating seven levels of the discovery process each with the seven steps so your your, your curriculum is now 49 squares right. where and then you add in you've got your nine elements so that's that's a basic structure for the rest of your life to fill in and go okay well if someone's on the path of awakening and they want to do a, you know a nine-month discovery process here's how they're going to come in you know what that's a good idea because then you see where people are on their path with money right off the bat see yeah. you know when we talked about a quiz or something that just says where are you now right and it's to determine that so then when you know this you know which route they need to take over right. here yeah. because everybody's at different levels very very much so about money whether it's about relationships whether it's about health and wellness holy Maybe we're going to end up using those seven those seven paths. Well, it's again if you look at two point seven path on the inflow and three point seven services, these yeah. are the seven paths. Yeah. So every one of the parts of the uh, interface breaks down into another map, but it yeah. breaks down into the number right. Two point seven is seven paths. Yeah. Two point five products is five products. So when you guys were identifying your five creative outputs, that was your products at 2.5. So oh, then, then wow. you bring them into the world at 2.7 through these paths that are, again is a universal model. So then over time, when we're creating curriculum, other people are going to understand as soon as you bring in your thing to, so let's say Germany, oh, the seven paths. Okay. Everything's under the seven paths. So it's, it's like, as the network expands of the people using it, yeah. you're going to have a larger and larger market for your knowledge mm -hmm. because you're going to specialize in money, you know, which is one of the first things that most people want to focus upon. Right. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Create a lot. It creates a larger market for our knowledge. And you, I don't know if you caught all that, what I just said in terms of what's your product line, it's mm -hmm. like it's set up for once you have created something, it's a templating system. So once that template is created, you can create a course that then you can sell to other people in the network where yeah. you get a percentage of whatever comes through the course. And it's sort of like a train the trainers program. Yeah, I think that's fabulous. And then it expands out into the world much faster. Yeah. And that's the idea of the shared knowledge community where we're using the same models, but we're bringing in different content. And then again, we get richer and richer as, as more and more people contribute to it. Yeah. And, th and then everyone is like a salesperson for everyone at some point. Yeah. And so the network just gets sort of richer and richer because they're, they're, it's, a, it's a new way of containing knowledge and sharing that value with, with the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And that's what's the whole world is looking at. How do you create these containers for the knowledge that is going to be shared now? Right. And so let's say within the shared knowledge community, there's, there could be some places where you go, no, I, 
I'd like to give this for free or it's or give access to Uganda or you know if someone is under 18 or you know there, there's ways where at some point you've got so much money you don't have to worry about money again you're on the path of service and you're going how can I help like how can I give and so, so the, the, the deeper thing is if, if you've shared your knowledge, you didn't lose anything and more people are gaining it. It's not like in the old paradigm where I, I gave you my, my, my uh, chainsaw. Now I don't have a chainsaw anymore. Right. But, but uh, the, 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 the idea about knowledge is once you give it away, you don't lose it, right? Right, exactly. Well, you know, they call it what in, intelligence. They call it like when you have knowledge or stuff and, and it's your... Something intelligence. Collective intelligence? Intellectual property. Intellectual property, yeah. Because Rob mentioned that. He mentioned intellectual property because we said we don't have any threats out there because this is new to the world. Yeah. So he, you should have seen his face when he saw that. <laughs> and he wasn't just hearing it from me for a change. He was hearing it from four people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Hey, I better get going. Awesome, Elijah. Thank you for this. This yes, is great. You. Hey, I'm Good. looking forward to. I can't wait to see what you create for a sign out there, and then. No, oh, that's 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 exciting to me. I'm gonna I'm gonna get into that. I, I Corey, Corey's a pilot. He has his own plane, so we'll have to get him to come and pick you up and bring you to York. <laughs> <laughs> that may be the only way to come get me. I'm. <laughs> exactly. Why not? Mm. Okay, Elijah, you have a great rest of the evening. All right. Wonderful to see you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. All Bye. right. Bye, Sylvia.